Hi guys, Rose here with the Cackling Moon. This is going to be a video all about the decks, tarot and oracle decks that I want to work with for the spring season. So I pulled quite a bit. <laughs> so bear with me. Um, let's talk tarot first, obviously, because that's what we do here. So first deck I'm going to pull, and these are not in any particular order. They are just decks that I think would be really cool to work with for the springy season. Um, we are having a wild and crazy winter. It has been super cold. It has been um, sometimes snowy. It's rainy. It's crazy, but I love it. I love the cold season, but I am kind of looking forward to having um, the, the, the spring season coming in. So Druid Craft Tarot. Um, I have not worked with this one in probably a good, a good solid year. Um, this is a deck that I obtained um, a used copy of and I trimmed the borders. So it's a really fun one to work with. It's totally spring vibe. Um, and I think that this is gonna be fun. It's gonna be fun to pull it out again. Um, those are the backs. Excuse me, I keep burping. <laughs> it's gonna be fun to um, bring this out for the spring season. I think, I don't know. It's been a while. Um, so the Druid Craft Tarot. I just like. I just want to get right into it. I don't want to be like talking and talking and talking and then like before you know it, you like lose interest. So let's just keep this rolling. Um, so in this little deck bag which is the cutest little Empress deck bag. Um, I have the Wonderland Tarot. So when I ordered this off of eBay, um, <laughs> it didn't come with a box, so it was a discount. Um, this was before the, the reprint came out, because now you can find this on um, Amazon for like cheap, um, which kind of pissed me off because it was like, it was like a treasure to get this deck you know, a nice used copy. But I really love the backs. They have like that floral design to them and they're Alice in Wonderland cards. So these are kind of fun. They're more like playing cards, but you could totally read tarot. I mean, like you could, you could read them as playing cards, but you can read them as tarot cards too. <laughs> so I just think that they're super cute. I didn't really show you guys the Druid Craft Tarot, sorry. I should probably do that again, but it doesn't matter. Look at this, the little oysters. So I don't know, I just think that Alice in Wonderland, like this deck, I don't give it enough love. And this is one that I really wanna bring out more. And I don't know, I just, for some reason, I always get the vibe to, to pull it out in the spring season. So that's another one you're gonna see coming out. Let's go back to the Druid Craft, because I didn't even show you guys. I just showed you the backs, but like I said, oh, but, <clears throat> my own hair is like getting stuck in my mouth. Um, like I said, I trimmed the, the cards so that the, those crazy borders weren't in them anymore. And the pictures really pop out. Look at how pretty that tower card is. So, um, yeah, as you can see, it's like really green. Um, the artwork for this deck is beautiful. So it follows tr traditional, like, for the most part, Rider weight, which makes it easier to read with, especially because I learned off of Rider weight. So any deck that kind of mimics the Rider weight imagery is easy for me to, to jump into and read with right off the bat. I don't necessarily have to spend time with the guidebook or, you know, anything in that. I don't have to spend so much time with the guidebook, is basically. Um, so that's always a win. The Ethereal Visions Tarot. I really love this deck. I think this is such a girly, really pretty, pretty deck um, with the gold accents but I really like the pastels. So the backs are real pastel-y. I don't know what that design is, but it kind of it matches my nails. <laughs> um, but I don't know, I just think the artwork is really simple and it's real light. And then it has like, there you go. So you can see the gold 
accents. I'm sitting in front of my window, so when I show off the accents, you guys are gonna be able to see it, so that's kind of cool. Um, so yeah, I just think that this is real springy. I guess because of the, the pastels, it just reminds me of like Easter. You know, that's like usually when you see the pastels. See how pretty? So it's a simple deck, it's pretty. Um, again, it follows right away for the most part. Um, I think it's really nice. I like it. This is a fun one. And I don't know, there's something about the cardstock. It's thick cardstock, like pretty thick um, cardboardy. But I don't know. I, I, I feel like it shuffles like a dream. <laughs> For being as thick it is as it is, I feel like it shuffles really nicely. So kind of cool. This is like the epitome of spring right here. I love it. So yeah, definitely the Ethereal Visions. Um, I think you could still find this on Amazon. I, I think I got it on Amazon. So that's still available if you want to pick, pick one up for yourself. Um, most of these are still available with the exception of maybe one or two that I'm going to show you. But this is the Star Child Tarot. So this is the Akashic Edition. Yeah, the Akashic Edition. Um, I heard that she's going to bring out or re-release her first edition. So if you're looking for the first edition... I heard, um, I think it was a post she put up on Instagram a while back that she was thinking of bringing back the first edition. So if she does, I might have to snag a copy because I sold my first edition and then I regretted it. And so I repurchased the deck, but I got the Acacia edition because the first edition was like, it's now going for like 200 plus dollars because it's out of print. Um, but this one's really pretty. The color scheme is actually, I think, a little bit better than the first edition. But if you're like a, a tarot card collector, of course, first, first edition is like exciting, right? So the backs are like this. Mine has the borders. Um, there is a borderless edition like this. Um, I like borders. It doesn't bother me. I kind of like the white borders. So if any decks have white borders like this, to me, and again, it matches my nails. It's so crazy. <laughs> Um, anything with white borders, I don't know. I don't mind it. They don't bother me. The only thing about the Star Child and the Moon Child decks are they do not follow Rider Waite. So for the most part, some of them, some cards do. But for the most part, it's, you're not really getting that. They're very intuitive decks, okay? You're really going to be utilizing your knowledge on the tarot your card your your like your keyword meanings and then also your um your intuition which i think is nice it's kind of helpful um because like i said it doesn't follow right or weight so if you're used to that imagery you're not really going to get much of that so i think that's one reason why this is not a deck that i like i, I pull off the shelf often but every time i go through it i see how gorgeous it is and i think why am i not working with this more Look at how beautiful. <laughs> so I really like it. The color scheme, like I said, is real pastel-y. So this is like a deck that I like to pull out during the springy season. Um, I believe she has them available in her shop if you go to her website, um, which is starchildtarot.com. But um, I don't know. I don't know for a fact if she still has them available. I know when I ordered my copy, um, the borderless was on pre-order because that one's more popular than the ones with borders. Um, the good tarot. <laughs> I love this little deck. I picked my copy up at, uh, uh, I can't talk today. Wow. I picked my copy up at Barnes and Noble. Um, you can still find it at Barnes and Noble. You can find it on Amazon. Really cheap. Um, it's a really pretty deck. So the backs um, are green. I actually colored the edges like a gold, kind of like a goldish color. I felt like it went perfect with the cards. Um, they're beautiful, whimsical, really soft and colorful. It's a beautiful deck. There's animals, you have like fairies, mermaids, 
uh, Pegasus, <laughs> everything. It's a it's a like a fairy tale deck, and it's sweet. It's not negative. It's just really sweet and it's really gorgeous. I love the artwork. Um, I think it's a beautiful deck. So it's one that I um, I definitely, not just for the spring season, this is like an all around kind of a deck I like to pull, especially for client readings. Um, I just think it's really nice. Um, I usually don't use the guidebook for the deck, but every once in a while, blah, 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 every once in a while I will pull out that guidebook and see what the guidebook has to say. So that's the good tarot. Um, this one is the Mystic Fairy Tarot. So I purchased this one off of, I think it was a Facebook deck trade website, deck trade group or whatever, Facebook group. And I bought this one. I don't even know how much I paid, I think. I don't know. <laughs> I didn't pay that much, maybe 20 bucks. I don't know. It has a huge guidebook, which I hear tells the whole story of like these little fairies. I haven't read it. And it comes with this really cute deck bag, which I think is so earthy and like fairy-like. I don't know, just super cute. <laughs> and the cards are so sweet. I'm not as big on fairies, but Every once in a while, I'll have that fairy craving. Um, so this is a fun deck that I think is going to be cool to pull out when I have that fairy craving. <laughs> so those are the backs. They're, the cards are very green and like, like green and yellow vibes. And then you have like a gold border. So that's really pretty. I have them in order, so I don't want to mess it up. But look at this Empress card. <laughs> um... They're just cute. You have like some spooky looking fairies and then you have some nice ones. I just think it's so sweet. It's a sweet deck. So I think this is going to be fun to read with for clients. <laughs> I haven't really used it much. I think I picked this one up maybe like back in November. I don't know, it was shortly before um, I moved and so I just kind of forgot about it to be honest because I was so focused on like moving. But that is the Mystic Fairy. So if you want a copy of this one, I don't know. I don't think, I don't know. I don't know if it's in print, I don't know. <laughs> but it's there, it's cute. And then the last tarot deck is, of course, the Victorian Romantic. This is the third edition. It's the metallic. So I feel like, obviously, it speaks for itself why I would want to use this as the um, springy deck. Look at the backs. They're blues. Blue and white. Let's find one that has a lot of metallic. So this is the Eight of Swords. There, you could kind of already see that sh metallic shimmer, see? <laughs> it's a beautiful deck. Um, every time I use it in client readings, like I've, I've used it in person for some of my in-person readings, and it always gets compliments. So it's just, it's a really beautiful, this one's really pretty. See that? Oh, gorgeous. It's a really pretty deck. Um, the Victorian Romantic Tarot is out of print, except for this one, this third edition. I think you could still buy it on their website. So if you can, you should probably buy one <laughs> because as you guys know, Baba Studio decks go very insanely, ridiculously expensive when they're out of print. So I think you could still get a copy of this one. Um, if not, you can find them on eBay. They pop up, but uh, like I said, sometimes, you know, they could be like $100, $200, even more than that, depending on the deck and how out of print it is and all that. Okay, so, and then, of course, I, was, I wasn't going to pull it. I mean, I wasn't going to show it, but, of course, my, um, my Rider Waite Tarot, I always have this one on hand for any, it's like, it's like an all-season, all-year-long kind of a deck. 
Um, but I'm not going to show that one off because obviously probably everyone's seen it. Um, so yeah. Okay, let's talk about the oracles. So I only pulled a few. Let's start with the one in the death bag. Look at this crazy cool. It's like the perfect bag. It's actually a pencil case. <laughs> it's a little pencil pouch. Um, but it was the perfect bag for this deck. So this is the gypsy color deck or gypsy cards or I don't know. Gypsy color, color gypsy. I don't know. I don't think it has. Oh, yeah. <laughs> the color gypsy deck of color. So it's a indie deck. I don't know where you can find it. <coughs> Google it. But it's, um, I had to trim mine down because I got the, okay, so I don't know if, if she still does this on her website, but when I bought mine, you can get them in different sizes. They have like the Oracle size. They have the tarot size. I think they have a mini. I got the biggest one because I like big cards. Um, but <laughs> this one was freaking huge. Like it was huge. So I really trimmed it down and I rounded off the, the edges because I was like, this is way too big. Even now that it's trimmed, it's still big. Um, but it's much better. I can hold it in my hand better. And they're just color cards. So you could see, you just pull a, a, a card. It's just a color. And then it has, like this one says, open your heart, free spirit, abundance. So I love pulling the color cards. I used to pull these for um, aura readings. And I, I don't know, I just like color decks for um, for spring season. I think it's just fun. Like when you think of spring, you think of like some rain and then the flowers and, and rainbows. And so I just thought that would be kind of cool to bring out the color deck. It's been a while since I've used it. Um, Work Your Light Oracle. You could still find this one on Amazon. I like it because it's pastels. And of course, it's um, gorgeous cards, gorgeous artwork, gorgeous messages. This is really a, a really good spirit slash soul journey kind of a deck. <laughs> when you're like finding yourself or you're maybe you're reading about your spiritual journey or your faith, your connection to the divine. It's a good meditation deck. It's really pretty. So this one's probably one of my favorite cards. The Pleiades, double mission, channeling and uplifting humanity. Go pretty. So that is that. The Connected and Free Alchemist Oracle. I think this is the second edition. I don't believe this is the first. I had wanted this deck for so long and um, maybe it is the first edition. I have to look at my, this was in 2014. It might actually be the first edition. I have to ask, I mean, I ask, I have to look it up. But I had been wanting this deck for so long and um, one of the tarot readers in the community had it up for sale and I was like up early enough on Instagram and I caught the post literally like when she just posted it. So I sent her a DM and I was like, I want that deck. <laughs> so I felt like it was meant to be cause I caught it before, you know, too many eyes saw it and then someone else snagged it. I just really like the artwork. It's simple. It's, it's like pretty colors, it's pretty imagery. And then the keywords are just really like, they're just real intuitive. They really get you thinking. So. I don't know how many editions this deck has already. It doesn't say, I want to say this, this might be the first edition. I don't know. They, I have the guidebook too, but it's on my bookshelf. Ugh. Okay. The Spirit Animal Oracle. You guys have seen me using this one so many times. It's super popular right now. It's just animals and animal messages, but it's gorgeous. 
<laughs> I freaking love this deck. The pictures are beautiful. The colors are gorgeous. The messages are so spot on. You don't even need the guidebook for it. It's so good. Oh, the hummingbird. Sorry, my cards are like up and down and <laughs> they're like upside down and stuff. But it, I don't know, like look at how beautiful. Just gorgeous, gorgeous pictures. I so love it. I love this artwork. So yeah. Um, and then the backs. I like that mandala. So I don't know. I just think that this deck is, like I said, it's intuitive. It is easy to read. It's one of those decks where um, I like to use it as a clarifying deck. So I'm doing the whole reading and then like I'll, I'll say, okay, let me pull a couple cards left for you to give you a message to think about or whatever. This is like a deck that I would do that with. <laughs> so cool. How are we doing on time? 20 minutes. Not bad. I just have two more to show you guys. This is the Botanical Inspirations deck. One of my only flower decks that I own. This one's so good. It reads so well. So it has like minty backs, which are so springy. That pastel color. And then the cards themselves look kind of like vintage, I guess. Just the way that they're, the coloring is, they're really beautiful. All of these decks are beautiful. You're gonna hear me say that for all of them. <laughs> um, but you pretty much, you get like the image of a flower. You get like a couple of phrases, you know, a little, you know, one or two phrases to, to base your reading off of. And then you get a quote too, which is kind of cool. But they're really pretty and they're like, not drawing, well, I don't know, maybe there are drawings, but they look lifelike. Oh, I love this deck. I don't use it enough. But the flowers are coming out because I also pulled out the Victorian Flower Oracle, which is one of my, um, it's an out of print deck. But I got an email today and Baba Studios is actually pulling out decks from their, um, I guess they, they have like decks that they put away <laughs> so they can bring them out years later. I don't know. I guess that's what they did. Cause this one came out in 2006. So it's been a while, <laughs> but they brought some out of inventory and they're selling them on their website, but they're like $200. And I'm like, I'm not spending $200. Sorry. So I have this one. I bought this one off of Amazon. It was actually one of the last ones that was on Amazon and it's a used copy. I think I paid a hundred dollars for it. Um, but the guy that was selling it, um, he owns a bookstore and the guy that was selling it listed it as a haunted deck. So that was like, pff, I got to take that one. <laughs> and I actually did a whole video about is my deck haunted and it's, it was this one. So if you want to catch that, you'll have to um, check it out. It's probably in my playlist, one of those, but the Victorian romantic, um, I'm sorry, the Victorian Flower Oracle is so sweet. I love the artwork. It's just such a good deck. Um, it's one of those sassy decks, though. <laughs> like, um, if you notice, like, any of your decks give you attitude, this one is a major one that gives attitude. So it's not for everybody, <laughs> but I really like it. And I think it pairs really nicely with the botanical inspiration. So I kind of like to do the two together. So yeah, you guys, those are my picks for the spring. Um, depending, oh, I'm, I just saw like one or two more decks that I might want to use. But anyways, <laughs> those are my decks, my picks for the spring. We'll see um, how the spring season goes. And you'll probably see a lot of these decks showing up in my client video readings as I post them. Um, but I'm excited. I'm looking forward to the spring season and I'm really working on trying to come up with some new like readings, you know, new services and stuff to put up. So we'll see what happens. There might be some sales. Um, but yeah, just if you want to keep in touch with what's going on with Cackling Moon and what's on, what's going on with me on the daily Make sure you're following my Instagram account. I'll put the Instagram handle name in my description box. So 
follow me over there because usually that's where all of my updates are coming through and thank you guys for watching and I will call I will call <laughs> I will catch up with you guys later <laughs> I'm like in la la land right now I think I need to just like chill out um but anyways it's probably all the crystals like I have a shit ton of crystals behind me <laughs> anyways my loves I will talk to you later thanks for tuning in love you bye